Today, when the latest archaeological discoveries make us revise the false but imposed on us theories about the origin of man, and the public is making its painful transit to the new world outlook and the new perception of the role of Slavic peoples in the world history, timeliness of the Ukrainian project, ancient Kiev and Kievian Rus Park, raises no doubt. We are opening a door into the remote past and adjusting our image to the way it was a thousand years ago. By reconstructing the historically authentic image of the Kremlin of the medieval Kiev, plainly demonstrating examples of valor, wisdom, and knowledge of our predecessors, Kievian Rus Park becomes the bridge that is connecting us with our past and leads us into the future. The center of gravitation where the nearly lost link between generations becomes tangibly strong. Kievian Rus Park, a culture and history center of ancient Rus, is Ukraine's and world's only scientific and at the same time cultural and social project that is ever reconstructed. With maximum scientific authenticity and to its historical size, the center of this medieval city, that is, the Kremlin of Kiev of the 5th through 8th centuries. Nobody has ever conceived a project at this scale, let alone implemented. There are small settlements in Europe which would reflect the life and culture of a certain epoch. They are limited to around five to seven mansions. That is, they are of a small format. Nobody has ever made an attempt at creating a large medieval city, and there is an impression that hardly anybody would endeavor. Nevertheless, this project is not only architectural, it is being implemented by using all of the means and methods applied in historical reconstruction. The park illustrates various aspects of life of the ancient Russian capital city. Amateurs stage battles here to demonstrate the defense of a medieval city, reconstruct everyday life in times of peace, holidays, households, and the general urban atmosphere. This is like a bridge between the past and the future. This is the kind of a form that helps one understand that the history of our state is not in a faraway kingdom. Just stretch out your arm and you will feel its pulse, its breath, its throbbing. The Kievian Rus Park project has been recognized and supported both by scientific institutes, national and international organizations, organizations, as well as embassies of various countries. Tourists go not to the sea alone. No less interested are tourists in learning the history, but watching the history. It has been granted multiple awards and letters of gratitude, in particular a most reputable award in tourism, the Ukrainian Travel Awards for the best project in culture and tourism. It's very positive. I very much like this area. I very much like this organization and um, of course I very much like these horses and these um, arches. If you like Medivian atmosphere, it's a perfect place here. The project was implemented in a historically significant place described in Chronicles. The image of ancient Kiev arises on the background of a characteristic landscape resembling the nature that surrounded the ancient capital city. Ecological cleanness and peace of the place away from the noise of civilization would imbue one with the spirit of the medieval times and help get a real, active, and cognitive countryside rest. I have come from Grodna, a city near Lithuania. It is more than a thousand kilometers. I come here every time, and I regret neither the efforts exerted nor the money spent for the sake of all this spectacular play. We saw what we had not seen for a long time, real men, beautiful women, men fighting with swords. What battles! How interesting! I wish our children would learn this too, to see our history, how mature our Rus, our Ukraine has become. If it is raining in Kiev, come down here, you will get a suntan. If you want fresh air and it is hot in Kiev, come down here, it is likely to be raining. As if to confirm its special mission, the park is located right at the point of an intersection of imaginary perpendicular lines running toward the four Ukrainian sanctuaries. Kiev Pechurska Lavra in the north, Sveta Nikolaevsky Church in the village of Kulevcha in the south, Pochayskaya Lavra in the west, Sveta Sofiskaya Church in the east. We submerge into that atmosphere in which our predecessors, our ancestors lived once upon a time. Having visited any corner of this park, you would understand you are truly a Ukrainian and it is your past. 
Kievian Rus Park is the only place in the world where unique pieces of the ancient Russian architecture dating back to the period of the 10th through the 13th centuries have been reconstructed to their historical size. It is more simple in Europe. They used stone to build something, and something has remained since that time. It is easier for Europeans to imagine what it was like. Even as far as we are concerned, we know not enough about our culture. All the more it is a surprise to a foreigner. They feel shocked by watching this architecture, particularly of the wooden kind. I am impressed by the scale of the idea and the area allocated for this historical center. Visitors of the park can see the layout of the 10th century Kiev covering the area of 10 hectare, surrounded by a 9-meter bulwark, half a kilometer long in total, and partially a moat. The forefront area with the entrance gate and watchtowers. The world's only fortress wooden wall, Zabarola, 300 meters long. The total height of the fortifications is 15 meters. A world wooden architecture pieces of art, Mikhailovsky Gate of the Kiev Citadel of the 10th through the 13th centuries, 21 meters high, and homesteads of merchants and craftsmen of the 10th through the 13th centuries. It is but in Kievian Rus Park that one can take a walk down the streets of ancient Kiev, visit the Prince's Courtyard, Camp of Vikings, Camping Grounds of Nomads, Perrin's Hill, Kievian Rus Park is also a rich museum site where visitors will come across a unique piece of medieval shipbuilding, a true reconstructed ancient Russian waterborne vehicle of the 9th through the 11th centuries. Boat Prince Vladimir, the hat of Yaroslav the Wise, a scientifically verified piece of great prince headwear of the 11th through the 13th centuries, reconstructed by a group of Ukrainian and Russian scientists. Full function pieces of medieval siege weapons. Trebuchet, ram, ballista. The show of life of nomad peoples of the 10th through the 13th centuries. A unique live museum of historic breeds of horses bred at various epochs and in various parts of the world. This year, we succeeded in putting together in Kievan Rus Park, I would say without exaggeration, a collection of the best historic breeds of horses. Presented in the prince's stable are breeds dating back to their origins, such as Ekalteki, Arab. The scientists believe their history has lasted for about 5,000 years already. Pedigreed racehorses will appear before the audience together with a collection of various vehicles in the entire range from an authentic cart to a luxury carriage. The match of a man and horse is always beautiful, always interesting. I love horses very much, and this is the first time I have seen this sort of a harness horse breed. The park also exhibits historical suits of various peoples. The reconstructions embrace epochs from the 5th century BC to 15th century AC. We are wearing suits dating back to the late 14th, early 15th centuries, which were worn either by very rich citizens or nobility. Visitors can enjoy the service of the park's wardrobe where they can change into the clothes of Rusiches, nomads, Vikings, and become participants of the action themselves. This is a rest in a historically authentic setting, and Kievan Rus Park is a great help. I want to see it very much when it is completed. Kievian Rus Park is an only site of its kind, which exhibits in true historical entourage. Large-scale medieval battles, knights tournaments, Spectacular championships in martial arts, full contact fights that impress even the most meticulous experts. This is most spectacular. This is coming from the bottom of our heart. This is no theatricalization, no setup. It is a real battle which cannot be seen anywhere else. I guarantee it. Competitions of footborne and mounted archers clothes and armaments of ancient Russian warriors and medieval knights. It is the rumble of a battle, clattering of iron. It is adrenaline from beginning to end and even after. The festival's participants undergo a certain kind of commissioning. That is, they have to verify the historical authenticity of their attire and their armor. Therefore, what spectators see in most cases are replicas of those items exhibited in museums. This is how Kiev in Rus Park is becoming a laboratory of experimental history and venue of scientific dialogue where experts have a unique opportunity to compare the theoretical knowledge in practice. This helps one learn, tangibly feel how it happened. Some people like hitchhiking. We like to have a rest this way.
The park offers many games, entertainments, and master classes for representatives of all ages. Honestly, plenty of everything. Here and there, I could go bow and arrow shooting, riding a horse. Here, one can entertain oneself by bow and arrow shooting, throwing knives, axes, and spears, fencing in a sparring outfit. One can mint a gift coin on one's own at the Prince's Mint. Lessons in horse riding, taking a ride on horseback or in an elite equipage, participation in Slavic games, visiting master classes of craftsmen and learning secrets of the ancient Russian crafts, photo session with footborn and horseback warriors and charming female Slavs. Nothing like this has ever happened. It is not being and it is not. It is a discovery, as if of a culture. That is, one must know it is there and it is worth seeing at least once. No doubt the guests will have the brightest impressions from the local theatricalized shows. Shows of professional stunt actors from the Horse Stunt Theater of Kievin Rus Park, as well as performances of domestic and foreign actors. Concerts of the best musical bands performing medieval and ethnic music. Professional audio engineer, we are happy with everything. Everything is okay, good, pleasant to work. Audience received as well. The traditional culmination of festivities in Kievian Rus Park is its rich nighttime program. The spectators will see breathtaking night's fights. Full contact sparrings on a floodlight lit tilt yard are really dramatic and spectacular. Shows of the fire theater actors. A true fiery extravaganza, enchanting dances and the spark scattering and tongues of fire. Nighttime cannon and trebuchet shooting. When a unique piece of ancient Slavic siege weaponry reconstructed by engineers of the park sends a blazing projectile into the starry and sometimes flashing with thunderstorm lightning sky. We tell you for sure, our trebuchet meets absolutely all the historical standards. It was just like that, just that size. In conclusion, the sky above Kievian Rus Park bursts with fantastic fireworks. Unique in scale and capabilities, with rich experience in holding festivals, theatricalized shows, competitions, exhibitions and fairs, Kievian Rus Park by right is an ideal place for corporate celebrations, weddings, family jubilees. For that purpose, the park offers several picturesque sites. Veke site, Nomad's Camping Ground, Prince's Chambers, Prince's Courtyard, Yuroslav's Courtyard, Perrin's Hill Tavern. Shall keep the roofs be blessed. Spectacular shows and entertainments are waiting for the park's visitors not only on the days of festivals. The park offers its guests enthralling programs every weekend. Just a slew of choices, may I say. Here was a forest war yesterday, an assault of a fortress. There are tournaments, mass battles. Therefore, do not look for extreme sports anywhere on your monitors or in a faraway kingdom. Everybody hurry here to Kievan Rus. It is up to the brows here. Abundant tables are waiting for their visitors not only in the ancient Russian tavern, but in the prince's courtyard as well. Multiple snack bars with abundant medieval cuisine are at the service of guests. The first thing one has to do the right way is to choose meat with appropriate dressing. It is very tasty. Kievian Rus Park provides quality service for tourists, reception of tourist groups and delegations, running congresses and exhibitions, we are used to having some kind of clarity of genre. We have a kind of set it all aside. We mix genres, and the outcome brings an interesting and unpredictable result. Ancient Kiev in Kievian Rus Park displays a unique historical entourage and unique scenic design in a large area. It makes possible the shooting of feature films and documentaries, as well as music videos, TV shows, and commercials.
Kievian Rus Park preserves the cultural heritage of the Kievian Rus state and popularizes it. Actually, this is popularization of our country in the segment of tourism fans, martial arts fans, those into adrenaline, and probably half of the globe are this kind of people.